everybody, it's Christopher Now Walken. Welcome to the Dirty Nerdy Show. And today we have a special guest, and you guys are going to love it. Guys, welcome Zach ASMR to the Dirty Nerdy Show. What's up? Thank you, thank you. Not much. Uh, just getting excited about this. Yeah, yeah, we're excited to have you. We've uh, we've actually been in, in, in talks with getting you in on the show all the way back, like, February, I think. Um to finally have you on the show so yeah i guess yeah absolutely. let's just dive right into this what do you think sure um the first question asmr how'd you find it <laughs> uh it all started i was uh working one day and the place had npr playing and i heard the episode on npr about asmr and while uh listening to it, I kept saying to myself, earlier, I remember that from when I was little. And uh, so as soon as I got home that night, I started getting on YouTube and or on the internet and searching it. And uh, I stumbled upon a, a video with her like showing things and tapping on them and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, went from there. Heather Feather is a genius. Yes. Uh, so, so who are some of your, 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 your favorite ASM artists that you like listen to consistently? Cause I, I know people go through sort of a uh, phases Wait, you go to one artist for one thing and you'll do that for like, I do, at least I do this where you yes. go to them for like an entire week and then you'll like flip to somebody else. And then, so who do you go to consistently? Um, I would say con consistently my favorite is jelly bean green. Oh, she's so cool. She is. I really like her commune series. Um, yeah. Really, any of her videos. But uh, and uh, you know, one I used to really like, but he hasn't put out anything in forever. Is Paul Artwork ASMR? Um, he was uh, French Canadian, so he had the accent, and he did a lot with lights. And I really like the lights. In case anybody didn't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody that's looking at um, your content can tell that you like lights. Yeah. It's, it's kind of the thing that you're known for. Yep. Yeah, I'm known as the light guy. Where did that come from, uh, the idea with the going in, in, and doing all of the stuff with the lights? Because that's what I enjoy. Um, that's what triggers me. And uh, it's, you know, it, kind of everybody does a little bit of it, you know, especially with the, you know, cranial nerve exam stuff, but um that's what really yeah triggered me a lot watching the cranial nerve exams was the flashlight and so when paul artwork kind of light ones and um and i haven't seen any from him in a while but uh so what's, i started what's doing them you? and in light work i i do have to say this what's great about you in light work is it does seem counterintuitive it does feel like you know hey there's lights that would like kind of be like counterproductive when you're sleeping but it it works like yeah. somehow you make it work and uh, that just goes to the kind of content that you make and and how good you are at it have you seen um fred's voice his he just did a light video a little bit ago and that one for me yeah, the thing about Fred's voice is everyone that I've ever talked to, because we have a lot of like females that like that, like come on the show, a lot of female like fans, a lot of female listeners, and they're always asking me to get Fred's voice on the show. <laughs> get the Thor guy. <laughs> yes, Thor. <laughs> like we. That's need always, to that's always like the number one comment on his videos too. Something about Thor. He even makes them. I've never spoken to him, but I, I'm I'm sure he's like a really nice guy. Uh, a collab with Whispers Red, uh, and nice. That was quite a while ago, and yeah, he's they they, they did a little bit of ASMR stuff, but they also just kind of a little chit chat thing. And uh, yeah, they both seemed like really cool people. Yeah, I. I when when the artists are are relatively chill like that yeah um what what inspired you because it's one thing to be a fan but it's another thing to actually take that step 
and be like, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to create content. So what, what inspired you to, to go ahead and do it, to take that plunge? I, I think part of the big thing for me was back then in 2012, when I started watching it and, and I, I was starting to figure out what things did trigger me and what didn't and realizing the lights did and there wasn't that much content out there at that time. I mean, there was, but it was a lot harder to find. I think, oh, I wish I could make videos. And I knew audio was really important. Um, and I didn't have a microphone. All I had was a GoPro camera. Yeah. Well, so, um, but then I saw a thing on Kickstarter for these binaural microphones that plug into a GoPro and they were supposed to have silicone ears and stuff. And the Kickstarter fell through. They didn't get enough money. But right after it ended, they decided they were going to make them anyway and send out an email to all you know, all the people that had pledged to make them with the silicone ears. Um, mm -hmm. But they were offering them for 50 bucks. I, I think I was shopping at the time with my wife, and it popped. the email popped up on my phone, and I like hit order immediately. Nice. And I got... I got pair number six. They're like serial number on them. And it's like number six. So. Oh, damn. <laughs> and then it was within a month or so after get, I got them that I started recording. Okay. So, so what's your favorite video that you've done so far? Uh, I think my favorite has, uh, is my, um, mechanic character working on the droids. It's been a lot of fun creating that. Uh, character in that whole area behind it. Um, and uh, I definitely have a lot more in my head about that character and his background. So I'm going to, you'll, we'll definitely see him some more. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's cool. Uh, how do you come up with these characters? I have two questions. First of all, I'd like to point out our, our engineer today, our audio engineer, who's actually doing the recording for us. Uh, she has a channel, Spooky Whispering. Uh, you, you can look it up. And she did a, a video that's very similar with, uh, like, droids and stuff, where mm -hmm. she did something with a robot. And uh, if, if you like that sort of thing, you should definitely check it out. Uh, uh, I do, and I will. Um, awesome. Yeah. I just wanted to shout that out. And the second thing is, how do you come up with the characters? Um, That... I don't know. <laughs> I'm like that one. I kind of, yeah, I thought about a little bit ahead of time. Often it's just, I get in front of the camera and just go. Nice. And, uh, I just wing it. Um, but that one I had kind of thought about, uh, you know, I'd seen a few other people do, uh, such as, um, the Dr. Tingles. Yeah, yeah. He he's got a bunch of the droid ones, and uh, but anyway, I know there's other other people too, but um, so I, I was like, oh, I'll try that, but I'm gonna add my own little twist to it, and I'm uh, I'm pretty redneck, so I kind of went with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, what 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 video did you find the most challenging to do? Ah. Uh, Tapping. <laughs> mm, yeah. I yeah. find tapping to be very hard to do, too. Yeah. I know a lot of people like it, so that's why I, I just did one recently. Um, and uh doesn't trigger me, so I don't, I don't get it the same. Um, and I think that's what makes it difficult. So I probably won't do too many more of those once in a while, maybe. But yeah. Those those are tough. It it it's a different thing to figure out because with tapping, some people like it when you tap fast. Some people like it when you tap slow, and you have to tap at like a certain like you have to use a certain amount of force with it. There, right? Like people are very picky when it comes to tapping, so you can't really please everyone. And and I don't have names. Uh, we do have friends that have great like tapping names, like oh, I tap that ASMR. Yes, yes. God's <laughs> name. Scott is great. Um, that was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we're mentioning other artists, let's talk about 
anyone that you would want to collab with in the future? Really? Anyone. If we can come up with something that makes sense and it seems like it'd be fun, I'm definitely willing to try. Um, the only collab I've done so far was with Crinkle Oven. We just did that uh, a little while ago. That definitely took a while, um, the back and forth. But, uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of fun, though. Yeah. It was learn definitely a learning experience. Uh, but, yeah, really anyone. I mean, I'm I'm open for anything. Okay, like, uh, okay, let's let's get a dream team together of ASM artists. If you could put together a dream team, like who who's your ideal dream team? Uh, I think it'd be fun to do something with Terrar. Uh, I can never the, pronounce his whole name, but I don't think anyone Mike, can. I'm I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna uh, learn literally the day I interview him. Um. I think it'd be fun to do something with him. He, he yeah. seems like a cool guy. Um, very awesome. You know, as I mentioned, I, I really like Jelly Bean Green. JB is awesome. Um, she would, I haven't seen her do too many collabs. I don't think really any. But um, I, I've talked to her a few times about coming on the show, and she, she was very open to it. So... Judging by that, I'm pretty sure she would probably at least listen to your right. ideas. Uh, she's very nice and very, yes. you know, open. She's very cool. She, yeah, she seems is, uh, especially just uh, some of the stuff she posts on Twitter and stuff. She's hilarious. Yeah, she's great. Another, um, another good one would be Yvette ASMR. Mm -hmm. She's cool. So, so, all right. Uh, I was trying to like, I was trying to put like an Avengers <laughs> of ASMR. <laughs> team. Yeah. Yeah, like. Like who's the Captain America? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But that, I mean, there. I I, I named four, four. Four names, didn't I? Four of Tingles, you guys. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so we have some fan questions. Well, one from a very, a very important friend of ours, and. Uh, and, and we're going to get to that. What do you think? That sounds like a plan. Okay, so you have a question from our dear friend, Matt, Articulate Design. And uh, he writes, you are without a doubt the absolute master of the flashlight. <laughs> a skill because I struggle to even turn mine on sometimes. Well, Matt, I think your problem is that from your area, you call it a torch, and you need to light a torch, not turn it on. Yeah, so, right? What's up with the UK and calling like, flashlights torches? I don't know. I think I think it got left over from, you know, the torches hanging on the walls in the castles. <laughs> and they carried them around to light their way, and now they carry on a, a different torch. And now it's just a regular flashlight, though. Yeah. It's, it's not a torch, UK people. I'm sorry. Uh, half our viewers are just like, fuck you. Well, maybe that, that might be a good idea for a video, though. Actually use an actual torch. <laughs> yeah. But then again, yeah, that would be good. Do, yeah. do that. The fire? The, the, you know, the crackling of the fire? Yeah, that's, that's your next big hit. Yep. Although I, I did, uh, I did record a video in the woods with the um, snow falling. Nice, but uh, it was so so long that it, I, I, my computer couldn't handle rendering it. <laughs> but you could cut it I might, I might try again on a different computer. Yeah, sometimes rendering is like the devil when it comes to people like us who work on on, on YouTube. It, it's just, ah, uh, it takes forever. Like, I, our, our audio engineer over here, she rendered something for an entire, like, two days. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, like, a 20-minute video. Oh, wow. It might have been a little bit longer. I don't know. But, it, like, it took, like, two days. And I'm just like, why is this happening? Yeah, I, I, probably what I'll have to do is bring the files into my computer at work. My computer at work is much beefier, and that could handle it, I'm sure. 
This but, last um, thing I, is, 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 is not a comment. I mean, it's not a question, but it's more of a comment. Mm -hmm. But it came from Badger ASMR. And he wrote, <laughs> he wrote that he read Articulate Design's comment as Fleshlight. And then he wanted to know just how dirty the Dirty Nerdy Show is. And I have to answer this question. Well, as dirty as you want it to be. Have it your way. Yeah, we're, we're like Burger King. Have yeah. It your way. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw that, and I wasn't. I wasn't sure if maybe he was trying to step on Matt's toes and get in between the two of you. I, I think so. Everybody knows that team chat is where it's at. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, like one hundred percent team chat all day, every day. Uh. By the way, I have to ask you really quick: Are you team chat? Or are you team Casey? Chat, of course. There you go. He answered the right question. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. By the way, today, uh, we we really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. It was great. Now, guys, check it out. Right. If you liked this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you've already done that, and you hit the subscribe button, and you've already done that, you're like, oh my god, what do I have left to do? I've done hit the like button, and I've hit the subscribe button. What's left? Okay, well, there's a Patreon button right there. You can go look at all of our tiers and see what we offer. We offer a lot of cool things, but one thing that we do offer is that for just one dollar, you get early access to our interviews. So... If that's I something that you're interested in, yeah. If it's something that you're interested in, please do that. But uh, yeah, my name is Christopher Not Walking. That is Zach ASMR. Pockets, uh, Spooky Whispering for uh, helping us with the sound today. And uh, yeah, I'm Christopher Not Walking. That's Zach ASMR. This is the Dirty Nerdy Show, and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye.